What is going on guys? My name is Hussein and in this video I want to explain what really happened when you do a curl HTTP and you provide your IP address and this is my IP address where I have a web server running and you hit enter right and you get back the content from this HTML. What happened here we established a TCP connection we did a three-way handshake which I explained on this video check it out just what had really happened in details, all the sin and act and all that stuff. And then we close the connection. So, and, and we obviously we send the payload, we give back the, the information. I'm gonna go to Wireshark and show you exactly what happened when we did that, okay? How about we jump into it, guys? All right, guys, so I captured a trace on Wireshark to explain everything that just, what that happened from what we really just did, all right? So, here is, our, first of all, some information. Source IP address is my Mac 192.168.10, and the destination was .24.254, as we saw, right? And here's what we do, guys. The first thing is establishing a TCP action between the client and the server, and the first thing we do is what? We do the send, right? And this is to synchronize the sequence packets, right? When I click on that, that first request and look at that. This is the sequence number that came up. <laughs> I forgot to mention that in the other uh, video, right? But this sequence number has a limit, 32-bit, and it just recycles back when it hits uh, the maximum number, whatever that is, right? So when we hit that number, so this is the initial number that the client came up with. And it sent that to the server and says, hey, sick. And this is just a relative number that the uh, that Wireshark just nicely explain it to us so we don't freak out when we see stuff, right? <laughs> it's like, because you're seeing numbers, I knew you freak out, right? All right, so that's the sequence, and, and send it to the, to the server. And the length of this packet is zero because it's a send. There's no content, right? We're just synchronizing the, uh, the numbers that we come up with. The server responds with two things, really. Sin ACK, right? We explained that these are actually two things. First of all, it first it establish it establish its sequence number and send it to us because it needs to communicate with us. So sin and it has its own badass number, 624. So what was the our other number? 844, the client, and the server is 624, just for simplicity, right? And the server, since smart engineers built this, might as well just acknowledge the sin that we just did. So we do SYNAC in one request, right? So we built the whole thing to do as much, we send as much information in one packet as possible. So we're acknowledging that badass uh, 844. So what do we do? 844 plus the length to acknowledge, it is the previous sequence number, plus the length of the packet, which is zero. But since this is a ghost byte, we add a one. So what we acknowledge is 844 plus one. The acknowledgement is 845, right? That's the acknowledgement number. And we get back. And then the serve, the client receives the sin of the server, all right? And and the obviously the sin of the number, uh, the, the, the client is what, 845? So the client receives the sin of the server and also receive an acknowledgement, which we don't do anything with, but we receive the sin and we need to reply with the, for the user, the same thing, 624 plus the ghost byte, which is the length of the sin, right? I don't know why guys didn't make it a one byte and, and saves us the day, but yeah. 625, that's it is, right? So we do a 625 and then we acknowledge that. So that's the acknowledgement for the server. So that's the three-way handshake. One, two, three, right? So every time you open a new TCP connection, guys, we're doing that. Every time you open and close, you're doing three, right? Three requests. So, so pay attention to what we're doing, guys. Especially opening and closing connection in the for loop, no, no. All right, so the first request. After the sin, we our starting number will be 845, which is that's the sin, right? 845, which is we can also look at this, the relative sequence number, if you don't want to start with this. But I, I like to like the I like to look at these numbers. 845. That's the first packet. What does it do? What's the length of this packet? That's the I get request. That's the content. That's HTTP1, the headers, and all that garbage. And uh, Wireshark actually recognizes HTTP2, HTTP. B protocol so it actually can view the protocol but I'm not gonna do that 
it's just the actual get request and all this content right so the length of the content the packet is 79 so i am going to send the sequence 845 the length is 79 what does the server do it's going to acknowledge that so 79 plus 45 if we do some math we're going to pick get the acknowledgement of 924 all right guys that makes sense right so i'm not acknowledging that and the acknowledgement usually doesn't have any length so the acknowledgement is zero i'm just acknowledging that i received this bit right and this sequence right so you, whatever you do client you're good be safe that i actually received your request you don't have to retransmit it if we if the client doesn't get the get the act for this get request it's going to try to retransmit that uh, get request right and that's where things can get really ugly right so you really need to be careful if that's what a post request and the act get lost for example you might accidentally send two post requests and if, if your stuff is not item potent man i don't envy you. from editing that was actually not true because if the clients resend the same packet the server has a sequence number and it knows it's a duplicate packet because it's going to use the same sequence number to resend so what i said about the post request that's not a, that's not entirely true because the server will actually drop the duplicate packets and that's another reason why do we need uh, sequences to begin with and why do we need to synchronize these sequences all right guys back to the video all right so 924 all right acknowledgement and then here's the something I, I just recently learned push the server is now responding back right and it's also acknowledgement and this is I, where i need you guys network engineer i don't know why why the heck you're acknowledging again we just acknowledge this stuff we're acknowledging twice why right and uh, the length of the packet is 331 right and what do we do with packets we gonna acknowledge them so yeah i'm gonna push that content 331 and what are we going to do the content is 331 and the sequence number is 625 what do we get the acknowledgement is 331 plus 625 right so that's the acknowledgement from the server but here's something that comes right after the content that we've been received from the from the server so this is the actual content that we received guys right and uh it's actually an HTML page, the whole thing, right? But look at this, right after we receive the content, look what we, ha we have. We have fin ack, right? Again, I don't know why it's ack, but I do understand the fin here. Fin means I'm done. You client didn't tell me to keep the connection alive. That's what curl do by default if you do that. And the, and the, ser the server will say, close the connection. I want to close the connection. So the fin in this case is attempt to close the connection on the client side. All right. So the server want to close the connection after it sends information. So it sends fin and ack. And guys, uh, I want network engineer to jump in here because I have so many questions that I don't have answers for. And I try to understand it, but I, I think it doesn't make sense to me. And here's the thing, guys. All right. I'll explain that after the video. But the client will acknowledge the content that we just received from the server and that that makes sense because the acknowledge the this the content which is around 331 right so i am going to acknowledge that and the acknowledgement number will be 332 so just add that content size to that to sequence number one which is the the server and that will give us the 332 however i don't understand what are we acting here there is one byte could be a ghost byte are we acting the acknowledgement that doesn't make sense and i thought it's like okay maybe we're acting the fin request here right then then it's like okay it's like maybe we're acting it again that's why there is like an extra byte we're acting and i don't know why do we have another acknowledgement right after the acknowledgement of the content so i'm not sure why is this for I would love to guys a uh, network engineer out there to correct me and see like what it what, what am I missing here all right and finally the the client says okay I acknowledge I am going to close the connection here's a fin act this one request one packet that has the fi finalized and acknowledgement at the same time right that's awesome because I am I want to close the connection and here's an acknowledgement of 
the previous one, right? And we look at this, it's like 333, right? It's almost like the same one, huh? So this, is, this might be it, guys. Huh. We're acknowledging, right? This, uh, this acknowledgement from the client is equal to the acknowledgement from this. So maybe we're, this is just Wireshark playing tricks in me. I don't know. So anyway, so the FinAC will send that. And then finally, the server will say, I acknowledge your fin, which is basically another ghost byte added, right? So 81 in this case, we reached 81. It's just like adding a bunch of data, right? Yeah, I have still a lot of question about Wireshark. I'm just playing up with this tool and I thought I made a video about it and talk about it a little bit. So again, network engineering out there, guys, I know you guys uh, watch my content and uh, I just have a few questions with this. Like, like, what is this extra acknowledgement? Why do we have it? Right, and what what are we acknowledging? There is no sin. There's the acknowledgement of the fin is right here, and the data acknowledgement is right here. So what is this extra one? Is this just a, a fluke? Is it a bug in the TCP stack, or is it, is it a bug in curl? Maybe could be. Who knows? I, don't know, I really doubt it though. But I'm just interested. Let me know. Uh, I'll attach the the what's what's more called the the trace file for you guys if you if you're interested to help. And uh, yeah, I'm going to see you in the next one. See you guys. Stay awesome.